Hello, it's Harry Deansway here, the host of Rat Chat, and we have just had what is possibly the busiest rat ever. I hated it. It's not what rats is about. I'm, I'm struggling with all these people in the room. It's not what I set this night up for, but we did it. It was a big commercial success. Let's uh, meet everyone who was on and at the show tonight. My name is Tom. I work in an office in Hyde Park Corner. I went to art school. I'm a musician as well. Lovely artist. stuff, Tom. We'll leave it there. We'll come back to you, don't worry. I'm having a go, and I'm transgender, as you might have seen, and I'm also disabled with Parkinson's, but basically it's my first night in this company, and I've enjoyed myself. Great. Triple threat. Okay, Teddy. Hello, I'm Teddy Lollipop, singer, songwriter, artist, music star, celebrity. Wow, another triple threat. I'm John and I'm eating all the peanuts. Again, you did that last time you were on this podcast. Hello everyone, I'm Khaled, I work for the council. It's my first time playing live as a stand-up comic. Thank you very much. All right, look at me, not the camera, by the way, guys. Uh, it's a podcast. This is just for social social stuff. So Tom, um, you went to art school and you've ended up in an office. Are you? Uh, do you still do your art outside of your office work? I, I do photographs on my iPhone, actually. Uh -huh. I'm on Instagram. Okay, you can you can plug that. Go for it. No, no, not really. No, you don't want to plug it. No, no, I don't do it for that. Okay. I just do it as a means of expression. That's lovely. And what what do you, what subjects do you like to photograph? Buildings, especially mm. old architecture, uh, sunsets, sunrises. Okay, so so you don't like photographing people? Uh, I do. I I photograph. Uh, Musicians, bands playing. Okay, so you'll, if there's something to photograph, you'll photograph it. That's yeah. sort of what I'm getting. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, I love your look, by the way. Great. Oh, we're, we're, we're kind of dressed the same tonight, right? Yeah. Um, Are you sure we're not related in any way? Well, we could be we very well could be. You know, you know, I could definitely. Uh, DNA test. I yeah, think we'll do a DNA on. test. Um, where are you from, by the way? Where am I to tell I was born in the Philippines, actually. Were you? Yeah. You're Filipino? Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Well, tell us a bit about the Philippines, actually. I don't know much about it. I haven't been since 1973. <laughs> so, um, it's a whole different world now. Someone, I'm sure, who can tell us some stuff about uh, the Philippines based on what I imagine goes on in his personal life is John Sharp. John, uh, have you ever been to the Philippines? No, but I've heard of the um, Marcos, uh, Imelda Marcos Museum where they exhibit all her shoes. She has a yeah, size 14, um, yeah. So 3,000 shoes and they're on exhibit. Um, she was married to the dictator Ferdinand Marcos and they killed lots of people, yes. Not, not your best anecdote. Um, <laughs> uh, Khaled, first uh, time ever doing comedy tonight. Yes. Tell us a bit about the journey to this gig, like not, not how you got here, yes. like, uh, like on the bus use, or the tube. Yeah, but, like, what, what, what? What has happened in your life, working the council, where you've got to the point where you're like, I want to do comedy? Tell us about it. Well, that. you just go in day in, day out, the same old faces, the same old rigmarole. You think, Neil, I want to live. I want to be someone. I want to stand out in the crowd whilst I'm in a basement in King's Cross, which is all covered in piss. <laughs> and so I decided to do that. I was asked for comedy. I thought, well, I can make someone laugh. I don't know who that person is. So I decided, I did an act. It was terrible. I rewrote it, came out tonight, and no one really liked it as well, but still, <laughs> nonetheless. Did you get a... You, didn't you? Oh, we've actually, for the first time ever, we've got some people watching. What was that, uh, sir? <laughs> he did it for yourself. He did it for himself, which yeah. is important. Are you a friend of Khaled? Unfortunately. Yes, so you but, came... But, to but he's lots brilliant. Well, we'll get to that, Abigail, we'll get to that. Uh, did you get any adrenaline out of it? Was there a buzz? Uh, well, I was almost blinded by the light, but yeah, yeah, yeah but otherwise... That's that, showbiz, I baby. Buzz. I was ready to go, I was about to jump on one of the tables. Yeah. You know, my ankles, I didn't want to take it. But you've, yeah. you've got a nice buzz from that game. Yeah. And yeah, are you going to do it again? Well, obviously, you're in again. the final. Yeah, like, in the final. If you weren't in again. the final, would you go and gig somewhere else? Um, well, possibly, but, you know, only if I was, like, in disguise, like, with a blonde wig or, you know, sunglasses <laughs> or something like that, I would possibly do it. But oh, you're talking about Tom, that. okay. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of council work do you do? All right. John, I'm yeah. the host of this podcast. Oh, right. But go on. Right. That's an all right question. So I'm manager of libraries. That's what I do, yes. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Books. Yes, John, Books. I think our listeners know what are in libraries. Thank you. Um, so, Khaled, uh, I was going to ask a question, but John keeps interrupting me. You're very popular. 
what do you think makes you so but you bought you bought like 30 35 people well i mean it's just bribery but generally as a whole uh, it's a combination of social media and me trying to you know do some kind of you know feeling sorry for myself sort of card and it worked and you know it is a school night as well oh, it's most amazing of, yeah most of them are unemployed we've, so we've never had that many people in this basement usually it's that popular when there's a paddling pool full of urine but anyway um mr lollipop Oh. Yes, so you, um, I don't know quite how to explain this. So you, you basically, uh, am I right in thinking you're a paedophile? Uh, that's a very ugly word. <laughs> okay. I prefer to say I love beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I mean, I love youth. Mm -hmm. Youth is beautiful. Right? Yeah. So, but, uh, no, I wouldn't use that word. That's a very ugly word used by ungrateful people. Okay. So I think we know the answer to that. Um, and um, have you? <laughs> and uh, what made you decide to come and do a comedy night? Because I feel like you're more of a musician, right? Yeah, I'm not a comedian. I was no. by my age, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I assumed I was going to be musical, including yeah. actual entertainment. Uh huh. Um, so, but I, so I was quite surprised to be in the in the dance off at the end. But yeah. you know, my time at Pineapple Studio really served me well. Mm. I can definitely concur that you are not a comedian, as a lot of the acts on the bill tonight weren't. Um, <laughs> Abigail, you you are uh, one of the audience members. Mm. Tell us about your experience of watching what went on tonight. Well, it's the first time I've been to this comedy club. Uh huh. The first time for a long time that I've been to the club. I used to go to, to a bit. Of school, um, sorry, script writing. Oh, so you're you're a, a little yeah. When I was at university, uh huh. But um, since then I've been sort of. Not, uh, I just uh, was upstairs playing pool and they said there was a comedy club and so I thought uh -huh. I'd come down and see. Uh huh. So, excuse me, because my Parkinson's at the moment. It's just making me do that speech. But I, Abigail, you're doing great. You're, you know, we're, we're loving. We loved you in the I, audience. You were. Uh, you really. You, you've got some of the biggest laughs of the night. Well, I, 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 I sort of. Got the entertainment thing now. I'd like to have a go at it. Oh, you want to do stand up? I'd like to have a try it. Well, you know, uh, there is literally no barrier to entry at this gig, so you're welcome anytime. So, no, I don't pay on the sympathy vote as well, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it worked world. for Khaled, so um, <laughs> good stuff. Tom, you were also in the audience. What's it like being in the audience at Rats? I know our listeners at home, how would you explain it? What's the feeling? I sat in fear, uh -huh. in fear of being picked on. Uh -huh. And so my fears came true. Yes, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry that I spoke to you. But um, <laughs> so that you're sitting there in fear. You're watching the show, and you're you're just thinking, "I hope they don't talk to me." Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Are you thinking anything else during the show? Uh, not really. Just trying to be as small as possible uh -huh. and hiding behind the yeah, shadows. Hiding behind your your wonderful look that is uh, as inconspicuous a look as I've ever seen. Yeah, I can see, I can see why no one would uh, pick on you. Um, Tom, was there any acts tonight who spoke to you, to, to you in any way, or was it all awful? They, they all had their strengths, uh -huh. you know. Everybody's individual, everybody, I'm sure, has, has an interesting story behind why they're here tonight. I'm not sure I agree with that, but yeah, um, <laughs> we'll take your word for it. Um, so, John, you've just heard uh, Tom's experience. Have you, do you go and watch a lot of comedy as well, don't you? You yes. watch the show tonight. Uh, have you any more peanuts? No, you've eaten them all, I'm oh, afraid. Right. Yeah. Um, John, talk us through. Obviously, we know, regular listeners will know that you were hit by a bus. Yeah. And, uh, and that affected your life a lot. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we need to know about you? Um, you like art, is that right? I like art, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're so talkative about this two gentleman minutes ago. looks a bit like Andy Warhol. Um, yeah, or Andy Warhol's twin brother. Yeah. I actually studied under two important 20th century artists. Actually, please do share. You would, you'd probably not heard of Joseph Boyce. Yes, oh, I've heard and of Joseph Nam, Boyce. Nam Namjoon Pike. Yeah, I've heard of yeah. both. I, I went to Düsseldorf Art College and I'm not a fan of Joseph Boyd, but I have heard yeah, of him. Nor am I. Yeah. He's kind of important in a lot of ways. He broke a lot of new ground and instilled a lot of new attitudes in art. Yep. But Even so if you don't like his art, you know... Same age as Hockney, Same age as Hockney, yeah. He's an important yeah. artist, I agree with that. Yeah. Just, you know, but you, you'll tell us yourself, John and Tom will tell us, that art is subjective, right? Mm. Yeah. But you can see that he was an important artist. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of his art, but... How was he as a teacher? 
Uh, he was always surrounded by about 10 people who dressed like him, mm -hmm. which was quite annoying. Mm -hmm. Who were trying to obviously ingratiate themselves and hope some of his uh, star quality would rub off on them. But I, I tell you right now, Tom, <laughs> some of his star quality definitely rubbed off on you because you, you've got a real vibe that we like. Uh, and cheers. You be, you, you, I can't believe you're working in an office. Can't yes. believe nice tie. Very yeah, nice yeah. Tie. one of about 40. Oh, right. Abigail, are you uh, still employed or has the Parkinson's put paid to I'm basically um, I'm retired from work about five, six years ago from the, from the um, home office. Oh, you used to work in the home office? Yeah. Oh right, okay. So before, civil before, servant or um, security. Security at the Home Office. Okay, interesting. Yeah, before that, I was in the army. Who was in government when you were working there? Then well, I suppose it's different. Um, well, from Labour and them, Conservative. From what year? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I worked in um, from 90, 94, through to two thousand and fifteen. So you saw a lot of people come and go. Who was your favourite uh, boss at the Home Office? If you're allowed um, to say. Um, my favourite, favourite person actually was Samantha Cameron. Samantha Cameron? Yeah, but basically, because she, no, she, yeah, she, 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 yeah. she, didn't do, she didn't do anything, she didn't interfere, she okay. realised that she wasn't, whereas um, a better heart, a cherry bear, thought she was the boss, so she just didn't interfere. And she wasn't one of elected, so, you know, she wasn't elected by the people, it was Tony Blair. Okay, so Prime Minister, some of the Prime Minister's partners would get involved in running the country, is that what you're saying? Try to Wow, there we go. That is uh, your fellow civil servant, Khaled, like, or council, bit like yes, yeah, so yeah. that you work for the government. Yeah. Do you, have you found any uh, Prime Minister's wife meddling with your library work at all? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, we have invited them, but it's never really happened. No. No. No, we do that to do with you know, MPs and ward councillors, but they don't last long, long. They come in, do a lot of buffoonery, and then leave really quickly, really. So that's just about it. Well, so there we go. Teddy, you got anything to add before we go? Before you go to prison, doing a paedophile? <laughs> <laughs> it was such a wonderful evening with such beautiful, beautiful people. Uh, I really love the energy. And I'm not really sad that I lost to Khaled. Um, I wish him all the best for the final. I'll probably be on a cruise somewhere, maybe in Southeast Asia. <laughs> wow, back to where Tom comes from, the Philippines. <laughs> All right, lovely stuff. John, you were so talkative at the beginning of the program, you just decided to say nothing. What's going on here? Um, uh, John Cage once said, um, I had nothing to say and I'm saying it. <clears throat> yeah. John Cage, the avant garde composer of 4 minutes 33 seconds of complete. An utter silence. Oh God, I wish you'd done that in your set tonight. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Um, that is the end of the podcast. All right, excellent. That's it. Thanks guys. Thanks. Thank you. I like the